after the uh, after the Duke meet, I know Coach Moody talked about trying to finish and and you know get a little bit better at the end of the races. As you've got a couple days perspective now on Duke, uh, what do you think about that? And just in general, uh, you know, looking back on it a few days later, how do you feel about the Duke meet on both the men's side and the women's side? Um, I think you hit the nail on the head talking about the things that we needed to clean up. I mean, Duke gave us some very good competition and uh, going back to practice, focusing in on the turns, the finishes, the walls. Uh, it's nice to have a week later, right after that, some competition again to, uh, to see if we're improving. Um, so, yeah. um, You threw uh, Emma Barksdale into a couple new races, uh, the 500 free and the 1,000 free, a couple races she's never swam as a Gamecock, and she almost set a school record in the 1,000 and finished second in the 500. Hmm. When you know you have such versatile student athletes like that that you can throw into a number of different races, what does that do to you guys from a kind of a, a match psychology standpoint? Yeah, well, it's always exciting to see, you know, when, when you recruit someone as a certain type of swimmer and, and through training you see, hey, there might be more here than we anticipated. Uh, it was really exciting. And I think moving forward that provides us a lot of depth in those events. Um, we definitely want to see that 30-year-old record fall. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if she'll do the event again this season, but it's definitely something moving forward that we're going to uh, focus on. So. You got Vanderbilt coming up on Saturday. Uh, what are some of the things? It, it's women's only, obviously, but uh, but what are some of the things, especially on the women's side, that you guys have been doing to try and lower those times uh, heading into the the second competition of 2016? Yeah, going back to. Uh, your first question is just shortening up or, or shoring up the race strategies, um, dialing in on our championship turns, championship breakouts. Um, you know, we're coming off a huge block of training, and with that, the swimmers tend to be a little bit more tired. So as we get some more rest, as the weeks go by, um, just dress rehearsal for that championship performance. So uh, that's. That's kind of what we're looking for is can we clean up the, the finishes? Can we clean up the turns? Can we hold our breath coming off of walls? Can we execute the race strategies that we've been training to hit? Uh, that, that's really what, what every dual meet from here forward is going to be about for us. Yeah, and I know it builds all towards conference. And really, until then, it's about hitting certain marks that you guys have set up for each swimmer in each mm -hmm. race. Do you guys have an idea Saturday, more so than actually winning, kind of what you want to see out of uh, the swimmers that do compete for you up at Vanderbilt? Um, just see improvement. You know, week to week from here on out, it's about are we getting better and not staying in the same place we were. And so, you know, just can you swim at or faster than what you did last weekend? But can you, more importantly, can you do it uh, more like you want to do it at the end of the year? So, we talked a lot about uh, Emma Barksdale with Coach Moody and, and Kirsten Duran winning a couple of events, Julia Vincent winning a couple of events uh, on the boards. Now that you've had a couple days to, to look back at what you guys were able to post, are there any other performances that stood out to you guys as, as being really uh, exemplary from the, the Duke meet? Um, exemplary? Maybe not exemplary, but there were definitely some strong showings that I think were a direct indicator of the, the level of training that went in over break. Um, looking at Taylor Worrell to get back down to 151 was very nice. Uh, Brittany Oxley going under 220 in the 200 breaststroke. Um, that was her second uh, second time ever in season doing that. So there were there were some uh, some swims that did not necessarily grab the headlines that we were very proud of. Uh, last one for you. I know the men uh, obviously don't compete this week. They've got the weekend off before the quad meet here uh, at the Blatt in a couple of weeks. But still, it's an important week. Just because you're not uh, competing doesn't mean that you're not training. What, what do you hope that those guys do, uh, even though it's a bye week from a competition standpoint, what do you hope that they do uh, this week in their training to, to get better from Duke? Right. So kind of along the same lines as the women, we're going to you know, get back to it. And then this weekend, while it's still in a practice environment, we do expect them to get up and perform. And again, it's, it's about nailing the race strategies. And can you do it with perfect turns? Can you do it with perfect breakouts? Um, you know, that's kind of the environment that, that we'll create on Saturday for those guys. And just like the women go to Vanderbilt to, uh, to work on those things, the men will just stay here and do it as a team.